So here we are back up with another screencast about launch bar, about launch bar five already. It is in better state. You can grab a free license from the website if you haven't. In this tuto tutorial, I'm going to show you something about iCal integration in launch bar. I already opened up iCal and selected my new create a calendar launch bar here. This doesn't matter because when you want to enter some text in launch bar to create a new event, you can bring up launch bar, hit iCal, then right button into the iCal folder, which presents you some or all of your um, iCal calendars. And then I just enter some shortcut in my case this lb for my speci specially created launch bar uh, I cal calendar and then hit spacebar to input some text so in my case i want to add a new to do item i want to call my mom and then i just in enter call mom hit return and on the right side you see that i got a new to do item today to do <coughs> and it says call mom. So this is one example of using uh, this iCal integration thing. Uh, another thing would be that I maybe want to enter that I have my birthday tomorrow. So bring up launch bar, hit space, enter the description of your event, and then hit tab, you get this add thing here and then just say like you would say in normal speech tomorrow and there you have a new iCal event which is set to 15th of May in my case no I I just redo this so that we have all events I'm creating right now uh, in the screencast so let's say I want to have something particular let's say I want to clean my hard drive tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So hit, uh, bring up launch bar, hit space, clean hard drive at uh, tomorrow 9 a.m. 9 to 11 a.m. 9 to 11 a.m. Hit return. And there I have a new iCall event with you can see here I have an alarm message message with sound one hours before like it is said in my preferences under um, I suppose it's advanced no it's not alarm not advanced yeah here there it is here it is added add default alarm to all new events and invitations okay tomorrow I have to clean my hard drive so let's move on. Let's say I want to create an alarm from for Europe people, Europe people. So I bring up launch bar and hit space. I got a new meeting at let's say May 15th. You can enter May 15 um 11 11. Point uh, minus 15.00 and you will have the same as you would have with um, 15 is correct with month month dot 15 so uh, first two numbers have to be month dot and then the second numbers have to be the day and there I have new event from 11 to 15 o'clock in the evening where I have to be at a meeting. So this is pretty cool. If you want to set up a new event with a custom alarm like you see in this um, to-do item, I have an alarm set which is a message with sound one hour before and I want to add a custom 
alarm duration, I just bring up the launch bar input menu. Let's say I want to have a conference at today 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if you have the exclamation mark in front or at the end of the uh, of your uh, string. Just enter it with uh, an exclamation mark and launch bar will recognize it. So I have a new conference item here and when I go to the info page I have message message with sound at 23.45 which is 50 minutes before you always have to enter a value which, which is before the day in my case it was 50 minutes before but you can enter days or month or weekdays just by adding uh, 15d exclamation mark or what else uh, fits to your situation. So let's create a few to-do items. I have to call my dad, which is far more important than calling my mom. So I enter uh, a date like this. Um, no, let's say it is on the 15th May and it's very important. I enter three exclamation marks and I call has a new to do item which is ha which has a very high <coughs> or a high uh, priority. And whenever you're going to call grandmother, let's say I create a to do item with two exclamation marks. It is a new exclamation mark with uh, it is a new to do item. Sorry, with a um, medium priority and when I'm entering just one exclamation mark I have a new to-do item with low priority. So this way you can have priorities with exclamation marks one, two and three and when you got due dates you bring up launch bar and say ASDF hit tab twice or enter space bigger <laughs> I don't know and then again space and then your due date after the after the character which is highlighted in my input field. So I wish you much fun with launch bar and if you want go to my website, my other screencasts about launch bar or all other programs I'm going to show you and see you next time. Bye bye.